Well, we have talked several times on how our local law enforcement can't be on every corner, so citizens' involvement is essential, and that is where you come in. By working with each other and with the police, you've shown that it can help fight crime in our neighborhood. So, we are back with Lieutenant Tim Robinson of Wicomico County Sheriff's Office and Most Wanted Monday. Glad to have you here. It's great to be back here. Been a good week? It was a pretty good week last week. We've got three. Three? Three of them. Let's All hear right. about it. Let's start off with uh, who we got, Giddings, Michael yeah, Stephen Giddings. Yeah, the first one, uh, uh, Mr. Giddings, we've been looking for for a few months. We did get some tips on him, and he popped up. He was actually caught in Dorchester County. Mm. So he was brought back here to Wicomico to face the music. All right, Robert Taylor's the next one. Robert Taylor, he was actually pulled over and stopped by a sheriff's deputy, and lo and behold, realized who he had, and he, he was brought in on his open warrant. Uh -huh. and, and you're particularly happy about Eric Stephen Wilson. Yes, Eric Wilson, um, we got a specific tip which told us where he could be found all the way down in Salem, Virginia. Oh. And that's what I want to tell your viewers, you know, when you have an open arrest warrant, it's like walking around carrying an American Express card because these things are good anywhere, anywhere. sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> and this warrant was good. Uh, he was taken into custody by the police department down there. Yeah. Uh, he was tucked into their jail, and uh, he is now waiting for us to make arrangements to bring him back here. All right, so who did you bring with you today? I brought six more individuals, and I'm hoping that your viewers may know something, anything about any of these individuals that can help us bring them in. All right, starting with Heather Renee Bennett. Yes, Heather Bennett, uh, she is wanted for a drug-related case. Her last known address is in Federalsburg, for any of your viewers up in Caroline County um, that may know anything about her. Um, I will add that we have gotten a couple tips on her in the past. She is a reprofile. We have not been able to find her yet, so we're hoping we can get some more information on her and get her brought in. All right, Marvin Dean Hicks. Marvin Dean Hicks, he's also a repeat profile. Uh, he's somewhere um, here in the area. We, we last have an address for him up in Del Mar. He's wanted in connection with uh, felony theft and a burglary. All right, Antonio Jerome Reed. Mr. Reed, um, we still believe him to be in the area. We have an address for him down in Fruitland. Uh, he is wanted in connection with a theft case. So if you know Mr. Reed's location, please give us a call. All right, I'm gonna see if I say this right. Kanika Richardson. Miss Richardson. Uh, we still believe her to be in this area. We also have an address for her, also in Fruitland. Uh, she is wanted in a connection with a theft case. So again, if you know where Kanika is, please give the Sheriff's Office or Crime Solvers a call. On to Antonio Ramon Sanabria. Yes, um, we're not sure where he is. Um, the last known address for him was in Rehoboth Beach. For any of you viewers over in Eastern Sussex County, they may know him, may know anything about him. Uh, he is wanted in a connection with a felony drug case, um, CDS possession with the intent to distribute. So we'd be very interested in getting him brought in. All right, Daryl Anthony Turner. Yes, Mr. Turner, uh, we, the last one address we had for him was right here in Salisbury, and he's wanted in a connection with an assault case. So again, we'd love to get him brought in. So if any of you viewers know anything about him or any of these other, other six individuals we profile, please call Crime Solvers. All right, and Facebook is a resource you use every day. Oh yes, day. We, we, we do get tips on Facebook. We, uh, we do profile wanted people either through the Crime Solvers Facebook page right. or the Facebook pages of our law enforcement partners. Okay. Um, the one thing uh, Crime Solvers does enjoy doing is whenever an apprehension is made by one of the prof on, on the profiled people, it's always advertised on the Crime Solvers Facebook page. You know, we got another one. Got him. So, got him. Okay. Them. Now that's one thing, yes. but to actually get into the system for perhaps a reward, yes. you got to call. You have to call the number. It's 410-548-1776. Once you call that number, it's, it's very straightforward. They never ask your name. They're just going to give you a code number. Right. And that code number is how we're going to refer to you for the rest of your interaction with crime solvers. All right. So it guarantees anonymity. The, the purpose of the program is we're more interested in getting these people off the streets. We, we don't care who the information is coming from, just the information that's coming in. But the best part about it is if your information leads to an arrest, you will get a cash reward. And there will be a cash reward going out 
to the person who called in the location for Wilson. All right, Lieutenant Robinson, thank you so oh, much. Welcome. Thank you and very much. And if you would like more information on crime solvers, go to WBOC.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. Well, it's that time of year, vacation time, and there's nothing criminals like more than you leaving your house empty for a week after the break. Learn how you can protect yourself while you're gone, how a few simple tricks may help keep your valuables where they belong. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.